Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Mind Over Matter with Sankit. In this episode, we'll be talking about the meaning of the sensations in our body. At every time, we're experiencing some sensation or the other in all parts of our bodies. Now, this may sound a little surprising to you, but then when you get into the depth of meditation, when you get into spiritual practices, you'll notice that every point of time, there is some or the other sensation that is happening throughout your body and in this episode we'll be trying to discover what they could possibly mean we'll not really be going into specific sensations and what they mean because we do not know what that is that is based on each individual that is unique to each individual we cannot really describe what a particular sensation means for everybody because each sensation might mean a different thing for every person according to their individual karmas but then on a basic level we can understand what our sensations are trying to convey to us so the first thing that we need to understand is that the sensations are happening because our body is changing at every point of time you could also say that our body is slowly dying or you, you could also say that the cells are dying and they are being regenerated. So when these processes happen, it is very likely that electrochemical reactions happen all over our body, due to which we experience sensations like a uh, feeling of current or sometimes we get sensations like we've gotten an electric shock or sometimes it just itches a lot. And sometimes there's this throbbing sensation. Sometimes we have throbbing like that of the heartbeat in other areas too so there are many sensations but the important thing about these sensations is the feelings that we associate with them so sensations in general are very normal they're very common they should be accepted there's no way you can resist your sensations there's no way you can avoid your sensations they are inevitable so they are certainly happening but what you can change is how you look at certain sensations. So most of the times we do not even realize it, but we generally react to sensations in a blind manner. This is based on what we've been taught from before, like from our childhood and also on our personal biases. So for instance, if you get a pain in some part of the body, say uh, a pain in your stomach, so you do not really realize it, but you attach a feeling of sadness with that sensation. You do not want the pain to happen. You think that you do not deserve the pain. So that gives rise to a greater pain, which is the physical pain plus the mental pain that you're adding to it. Similarly, if, you're, if your feet are numb because you've, not, you've kept them in a folded position for a long time, you might again complain about your feet being numb but then again when you start associating negative feelings to a certain sensation the next time it happens you add more negativity to that sensation and slowly and slowly you start hating that feeling this is even applicable for cases of anxiety where people it is pretty normal for people to feel a piercing sensation on their chest whenever they are feeling anxious because they have very short breaths but then what is the problem here is not the pain in itself but the but the judgment that we add with the pain the hatred that we have towards the pain that creates the problem so as long as the pain exists if you could just look at it objectively see it like this is yet another pain it is also temporary it will not last forever so i'll just observe it as it comes and as it passes away if you could develop this perspective, you'll get rid of the mental suffering. So due to this, the physical suffering also dissolves after some point of time. However, when you start giving too much mental importance to your sensations, these very sensations and the negative feeling dictate your entire mood and you start thinking from the perspective of a sad, complaining person. So try practicing looking at every sensation in an objective manner. When you do this, all sensations become equal to you. You'll neither be too excited if you get a pleasant sensation after stretching your body or, or neither will you be very sad and hate the feeling when you haven't worked out for some time and your body feels very stagnant and very lazy and when it feels very rigid and not flexible. So when you're able to look at pleasant sensations and unpleasant sensations in a similar manner, just looking at it like 
normal biological processes which are temporary when you start developing this perspective you'll notice that you become a lot more calmer there's a lot less chattering in your head in the previous episode we've talked about how our mind is like a monkey it's continuously chattering but it does not know what it's chattering similarly we also talked about how our brain is a mitote which means a place where thousands of people are speaking but they're not ready to listen to any other person so in this way if you let go of this mental baggage that you're adding to your physical pain you'll notice that physical pain does not necessarily remain as a pain but just yet another sensation so when you start looking at both pleasant and unpleasant sensations just as mere biological processes and you do not really attach yourself with them you will be able to transcend what's happening in your body and that is only when you can explore the subtler realities in your body that is only when you can go closer and closer to understanding your mind and your soul so the starting point needs to be your body because this is the framework that you've been living in this is what you need to pass through in order to get within in, in order to get in this journey of spiritual introspection so taking this into consideration let's try a small practice right here and now the important thing is that you do not you shouldn't just observe your sensations when you are meditating you can do it at any time you can notice how your brain is constantly attaching mental baggages related to your physical sensations and you can correct it immediately just by reminding yourself in a gentle manner that all sensations are temporary and they are not here to last forever and that it will pass so there is no point in attaching to sensations no matter what their nature is no matter how pleasurable a sensation is or no matter how unpleasant a sensation is all you need to do is just observe objectively if you like this video do not forget to press the like button also if you like whatever is happening here at sound health solution do not forget to subscribe to our channel until next time